Hi everybody, it's Mark here again at Cafe LA Beaver Castle and uh, once again we're in lockdown but once again we thought we'd bring you a, another in our series just where we're going through each of the uh, coffee shop drinks on our menu and on the menu of a typical coffee shop really just so we can explain what each drink is and how we make it for you. So hopefully you might have already seen the first and the second in our series so we've already looked at the espresso and then we've looked which is the basis of all of our coffee shop drinks of course here at the shop and then we went on to look at the Americano. Here today we're going to look at the cafe latte which is effectively just a double shot of espresso or a single if you prefer of course and then topped up with hot steamed milk and the cafe latte is the UK's most popular coffee shop drink in all the surveys I've seen in recent years. I think our experience on the sales side of things at the shop would bear that out as well um, so it is very popular but whatever you do if you're in Italy and you want a cafe latte don't just ask for a latte because you'll get served a glass of milk which is probably not what you had in mind so it's a cafe latte if you're in Italy um, and yeah basically what we do is we steam the milk uh, very carefully to about 65 degrees and we'll steam it uh, to that temperature anything beyond 70 really the milk's going to start breaking down it's going to start tasting burnt not good and we'll do that because on the jugs uh, we've got these uh, strip thermometers here so we can see what we're steaming the the milk to but also over time you can get a feel for it you'll listen to the milk you'll, you'll just feel the jug and you'll know when you're at the 65 degree point that's what we'll do for you so uh, that's, uh, that's how we do it. Our lattes, we can do them in two sizes for you, eight ounce or 12 ounce. And if you prefer, a, we'll, we use whole milk as standard, by the way. We find whole milk is just creamier, gives you that lovely mouthfeel. It's so sweet as well that you might not even need sugar in your latte if you're used to having sugar in your coffee. Uh, but if you prefer, we can use oat milk or soya milk if you'd like a dairy-free uh, latte. Or if you want something with fewer calories, less fat, we can do you a skinny latte, either with semi-skimmed or skimmed milk. So Claire, should we go ahead and make a latte? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, let's go. So uh, just as we've done before, uh, we're going to make a double espresso. So let's bring some water through the, uh, the, the group head there just to bring the head to the right brewing temperature. We're going to grind some beans just for your drink because fresh coffee tastes best. I'm going to pour some milk. There we go. As I said, the, the blue hole milk here. There we go. What we'll do, we'll tamp the coffee. And that's just making sure we've got that even bed of coffee. We're squeezing the air out of it. And now we're going to brew our double espresso shot. While that's brewing, now, we're going to steam the milk. As I say, we're going to try and get to 65 degrees. And we're not looking for a ton of foam here. We're not making a cappuccino, we're making a latte. Just trying to texture the milk, but not too much. Keep it moving, keep it swirling as we heat the milk through the steam room. I can see our shot's finished. And there we go, we're at 65 degrees. Just going to knock any big air bubbles out of the coffee. Sorry, out of the milk, there we go. Wipe the steam one, purge any old milk out, and just swirl that. Can you see what we're looking for is that sort of consistency of, of wet emulsion paint, I would say, with that lovely sheen on it. That's what we're looking for there. No big bubbles there, as you can see. And all we do now to make our latte, we swirl the espresso shot and we combine the two. And there's our latte. Nice. That's got my name on it. 